So today I'll be looking for clues, uncovering the answers to some of the age old questions about cats. Lost secrets buried for hundreds of years that today will be revealed, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get right to it. Why do cats like boxes? First of all, boxes simulate places in the wild where cats could hide to protect themselves from predators. These places also would be useful for them when stalking prey. They complement their ambush hunting style. Secondly, boxes make cats feel safe. When some of us were kids, we used to build our own fortresses and hideaways in the basement or backyard where we could have our own private space away from the rest of the world. Well, boxes have a similar appeal to a cat. They can get away, and this actually reduces stress. But be sure not to close the top of the box. This will have the opposite effect. This may seem amusing, but let them enjoy their box on their own terms. Now, Batman is the cat king. So any discussion of box cannot preclude him. Batman. So the next ancient hidden secret about cats is, what does catnip actually do to cats? First of all, only 50% of cats even respond to catnip which means 50% don't. Kittens under the age of six months don't react to catnip because they haven't reached puberty yet. So what exactly is catnip? Well, catnip is a herb in the mint family. And what exactly does it do to cats? It gets your cats stoned. The active ingredient that spaces your cat out is called nepotalactone. When this compound enters your cat's nasal passages, it triggers a neurological response. It is potent and its effects are immediate. However, the catnip high only lasts for about 10 minutes. And once they come down, they can't get a buzz again for about an hour. Now let me say the catnip is not harmful at all to cats, nor is it addictive. The hyper effect usually happens when cats inhale it. And if they eat or ingest it, it usually has a sedative effect. Now this is still very pleasant to a cat. Sort of like sativa versus indica, huh? You know, as I'm going through this, I'm kind of realizing I've done individual pieces on a lot of these questions already. So as always, I'll leave the links in the description for y'all. And after you watch this, y'all can go check those out. Now the first one is a catnip caper. Now I just got word that there's some hidden clues in a secret location. So we gotta go check that out guys with the quickness. But first, I promised bruh man a catnip ball. So let me show y'all how I do it. All right, y'all. So I take me a plastic bag and I take one of his balls or one of their balls. I put the ball in the plastic bag. Then I get 
the catnip. And I'll put the catnip in this bag. Not all of it, just, just enough. See, he already tripping. Then I shake it up and put this stuff all around the ball. <laughs> and then, there she blows. Look at that boy. He don't even play with that ball. <laughs> of course, Batman got to get in. It's supposed to be a bruh man ball, but hey, no holes barred. By golly, I think they like it. All right, y'all. We got to get out of here and head towards our secret location. Secrets in Walmart? Hey, I had to go to the store. What can I tell you? Now they've been asking this question since Egypt. Why the cat sleep so much? Cats sleep 15 to 16 hours a day. And when they become seniors, they sleep up to 20. Because they are predators. And in the wild, they hunt at night. They are hardwired to sleep a lot during the day. Now, cats sleep in spurts. 75% of their sleeping is dozing or catnaps. They're only in a deep sleep about 25% of the time. Now, the good news is cat sleep behavior adjustable they will adjust their sleep behavior to spend more time with their favorite human they'll also adjust their nap times to feeding schedules be sure to play with them during the day to tire them out and help this along be sure to check out cats and sleeping habits Link in the description. Now we had no problems with sleeping from this one. As a matter of fact, sleeping is his middle name. We call him Cool Cat Sleeping Rod. So why do cats hate water so much? First of all, 
one must understand that the feline species evolved in desert climates. They were never really exposed to bodies of water. Their fur isn't designed to repel water, so they get uncomfortable when they get wet. If y'all think that a woman don't want to mess her hair up, and ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about, Y'all ain't got nothing on a cat. They are meticulous about their fur and spend a lot of time getting it just right. It takes forever for it to dry, and they look at it as you creating more work for them to do. Hmm. Now, I cover more on this in top 10 things cats hate link in the description and remember treat your animals well they didn't ask to be there with you but now all they have is you treat them like family fam